Yo, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you on how to get stretch resolution on Roblox the Hood. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to your window settings. Or I guess, yeah, I guess you could go to your window settings first. Um, and then you want to click on your display. And then if you have two monitors, what you want to do is you want to click on your main one. Or if you have one monitor, just it should already be on your main one. And then you want to go to display resolution. And then under like the settings, you want to click on it. And then there's two stretch resolutions actually. So the first one is 1680 by 1050 and 1280 by 1024. It might depend on how big your monitor is, but these are the two stretch resolutions for me. But my personal favorite is 1280 by 1024. So that's the one I'm gonna do. So for you guys, my OBS shows that it's not stretch resolution. So let me just fix that real quick. All right, so there we go. It should display uh, stretch resolution for you guys. But the thing is, um, if you have like Intel or AMD, it, sh it might show black bars on the sides. So the way to fix that is just close up your window settings. And then once you're on your main homepage, just right click on it and then open whatever software you have. So it doesn't really matter if it's AMD or Intel, it should be the same. And then once you open it, um what you want to do is you want to go to your settings and once you're at your settings go to display and then you should see these two displays and um i guess you could do it to both but go to your main monitor for now since that's the one you use stretch resolution on and then under gpu scaling make sure it's on full panel because if you have either of these on um if you have like preserve aspect ratio or center on it might show black bars, which will mess up the stretch resolution. And then once you enable it, it should go stretch. And um, I'll display the two stretch resolutions on Roblox right now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope the tutorial worked for you guys and um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!